so thinking about using local LLM Llama, yep, to do with client data to keep that data in house. So this is Daniel talking about an agentic flow. So yeah, Llama is an open source model, so you can deploy it yourself. You can deploy it on your own servers. You could deploy it locally if you really want to, although generally you wouldn't. And you can also fine tune Llama yourself. So Llama, for those who don't know it, is a meta model. So the creators of Facebook have made Llama and they've made it open source so that anyone can build off the back of it. It's really, I might get crucified by other pe people who don't use it, but it's really the only game in town when you are building an open source model. Most open source software is built off the back of Llama because we can't do that off the back of ChatGPT or Gemini or Claude because they don't release their full open source model, at least not for the, the newest models. You have to pay for them and you have to use the API. So yeah, Llama would be the one to go with and that will allow your clients to keep their data in-house which with GDPR in, in Europe in particular is incredibly important. I think there's a huge opportunity there because the more companies realize, oh, we need to get on board with this AI thing, but at the same time realize, ah, I'm not sure if we can trust with ChatGPT. I'm not sure if we can trust these AI companies. Definitely can't trust Grok. The more they'll realize, okay, in that case, we need to have something in-house, something that is secure on our servers which will allow us to get the advantages of artificial intelligence without the risks. So I think building local LLMs, building local models is going to be really important. There's a guy you should check out called Preston Rhodes. He is on, he's on all the big channels. I think he's got, oh, he's got a school as well, LLM Academy. So Preston, he talks about, he's very bullish on local models and creating local models for businesses. And he goes through how to do all of that kind of stuff. So he's well worth checking out. That's the plan. Targeting local businesses then can scale up and purchase hardware. But for anything that's highly regulated, local models are going to be the way. Definitely. Daniel was saying, okay, yeah, don't buy the GPUs. They're so expensive. 